Hello everyone, I'm Miss Carrie here at the New Jersey State Museum. Welcome to Small Explorers. Small Explorers, in a few of our other videos, we've talked about and to some paleontologists from here at the museum. Remember, a paleontologist is a scientist who studies the prehistoric past. They study plants and animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Paleontologists learn about animals and plants that lived millions of years ago by the fossils that they've left behind. Fossils are remains of plants and animals that have slowly turned to stone over time. I want to talk about one of the first paleontologists. She was a woman in England in the 1800s and her name was Mary Anning. Small explorers, Mary Anning was looking for fossils along the beach, along cliffs near the ocean. So today, our sign language sign is ocean. So for the first part of our sign, you're gonna hold up three fingers to make the letter W. Take, put that up to your face and bring it out. This means water. To turn water into ocean, we're gonna add some waves. Ocean. Ocean. One more time, nice and slow. Ocean. Good job, explorers. In order to support her family, Mary Anning and her brother went out to the coast in England. Um, it was much more of a cliff and a rocky beach than the sandy beaches that we have here in New Jersey. But they went out there to look for shells and fossils to sell to tourists. Um, while they were out there, she made some really important discoveries from tiny little creatures called ammonites and belemnites to much larger marine reptiles like the plesiosaur and the ichthyosaur. This is a painting of Mary Anning and her little dog, Trey. Do you see the tools that she's holding? She has a pickaxe for digging fossils out of the sides of the cliffs where she was looking, and she has a basket for carrying everything while she climbs. The work was difficult and dangerous, and she had to do it in the heavy skirts that women wore back then. And since she was a woman, she wasn't really given proper credit for all of the things that she learned and discovered and helped other scientists with until much, much later. Small explorers, these are belemnite fossils. They are the head, kind of like the skull, the head case, of a little squid-like creature. So if you picture this was the squid's head, so this was inside of that, and then out of this end, I see they're hollow. Out of the other end came little tentacles. kind of like a squid you would find in the ocean today. Ammonites, no, not the Pokemon. <laughs> Prehistoric ammonites were uh, creatures that had a big spiraled shell and we find fossils of them in all different sizes from a small one, like the one on my necklace, to this big one that was found in Texas. Small explorers, to learn a little more about one of Mary Anning's big discoveries, let's talk to Dr. Dana Errett. Hi, I'm Dr. Dana Errett, and I'm the Assistant Curator of Natural History here at the New Jersey State Museum. And today I am here with the fossil skeleton of a plesiosaur. 
Plesiosaurs were a group of marine reptiles that lived from about 200 million years ago up until 65 million years ago. They went extinct alongside the dinosaurs. Plesiosaurs lived in the ocean uh, and fed on things like fishes, as well as the ammonites and the belemnites, the fossil squids that we find in the fossil record alongside of them. This plesiosaur is called Thalassiodracon, and it was collected at Lyme Regis in England, where Mary Anning did a lot of her fossil discoveries. In fact, Mary Anning found the first complete plesiosaur skeleton, along with ichthyosaurs, the first pterosaur skeleton outside of Germany, and she was the first to realize that coprolites are actually fossil poop. <laughs> so plesiosaurs are marine reptiles. They have paddles for their front and their hind legs. They have short tails, a long neck with a small head on the end. In New Jersey, sometimes we find the bones of plesiosaurs. This is a vertebra from the backbone of a, a group that we call the elasmosaurs. So they have flat ends where the next vertebra in front and back would connect with them. This one even has fossil shells still attached to it from when it was buried underground for probably 75 or 80 million years. This plesiosaur, we're not sure, but it may have actually been collected by Mary Anning herself. It was from Lyme Regis, and it was probably collected around the time that she was alive. Thank you, Dr. Dana. Small explorers, when you go to the beach, do you like to dig around in the sand? What kinds of things do you find? You know, when I go to the beach, I like to look for shells. What kind of cool shells have you found at the beach? Small explorers, when you're looking for shells on the beach, try sorting them. Put together shells that are the same shape or the same color. What colors do you see? What shapes do you see and what textures? Some of the shells are very smooth and some are very bumpy or spirals. We have one that's very shiny. What colors do you see? I see white and yellow and pink. So what other shapes do we see? I see a circle and a spiral and a long pointy triangle. What shapes do you see? Another thing to look for while you are collecting your shells are the cool patterns that shells can have. I see stripes and spots and triangles. Small explorers, there's a great tongue twister that is a good way to remember Mary Anning, her shells and her fossils. Maybe you've heard it before. It goes, she sells seashells by the seashore. What do you think? Are you ready to try that three times fast? She sells, she, she, I can't even do it now. She sells seashells by the seashore. Ready? Let's try it three times fast. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. What do you think? Can you do it? Pause the video and try again on your own. Small explorers, to learn more about Mary Anning with your family, I recommend the book Dinosaur Lady, The Daring Discoveries of Mary Anning, the First Paleontologist by Linda Spears and Marta alvarez Megans. This book is great for learning more about her discovery of the ichthyosaur, about ammonites and belemnites, um, and a little more about the pterosaur and the plesiosaur like we talked about with Dr. Dana. Small explorers, thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, you matter and your family matters. 
So take good care of yourselves and each other and keep learning. I'll see you next time.